Hey everyone, it's day seven, I'm still alive, and um, so I've been getting this question a lot, and uh, you know, I think I should just answer it. Yes, yes, I do have one. I have a Snuggie! So, I would like to introduce a new section of my video blogging, which I'm going to be calling Snuggie Science. Da 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 da! Snuggy science consists of me talking about things I've learned in science. And I'm in a Snuggy. Because that makes it cooler. Yup! Today on Snuggy Science, we're going to be talking about stem cells. Recently, I was able to sit in on an All About You teacher workshop, which is this really great thing that MSI does. It's for educators in the Chicagoland area that can apply. It's a free program that offers continuing education in science, and it offers materials, and their students get a free field trip to MSI. It's really great. If you're a teacher in the area, check it out. Okay, anyway, back to Snuggy Science. So, stem cells. This is what they were talking about in the uh, presentation. It involves a lot of clay. I was all about it. So this is what I'm going to teach you. Stem cells are how we all start. We all start as a stem cell because, like it says, everything stems from them. It's basically the definition of a stem cell. So we all start as one single cell. After it's, the egg is fertilized, we become one cell. And that one cell is called the zygote. Zygote. One little cell. So after it's the zygote, it divides into 16 separate cells all in a cluster, and that is called the morula. Morula! 16 and proud! From there, it becomes the blastula. Blastula! So what's the difference now? It's that white thing, right? That little bowl-looking thing? Now, because my clay skills are oh so good, you know, of course, that that's the pre-placenta. Yes, of course. No, stop, stop. I mean, I'm used to working with Play-Doh, but I'll make do. Anyway, so it's in that bowl, the pre-placenta, and uh, the little cells are all still clustered inside. So what happens next is that those cells clustered inside start to kind of specialize. Then it becomes the gastrula. I am a Gastrula! Okay, gastrula. I'm using my notes for this. I don't want to get anything wrong. So if you saw the three different colors, those are the three different layers inside of the pre-placenta. All those clusters of cells have turned into three different layers. The inner layer is the endoderm, and that can become things like the digestive tract or the respiratory tract. The next layer outside of that is the mesoderm, and all of those cells can become things like the... <laughs> Wow, it's late. That wasn't a word. They can become the bone, the blood, or the heart cells. The next layer is the ectoderm, and those can become the skin or the centr central nervous system cells. So things are starting to get a little more specialized, but there's still a lot of different things that they could be, but less so than before. They're all starting to get kind of specialized. It's kind of like if all of the cells were joining a different club, or deciding on their class schedule, or they all were pledging a different fraternity or sorority. These are horrible examples. What is wrong with me? Anyway, so that's how it all starts. That's where life comes from. In mammals, anyway. Um, <laughs> you know, that's all for tonight. I'm sure there's many Snuggies in our future, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!